Hello Masoka Universe. The Copa America has started in Brazil, wearing my latest acquisition on the Brazil front. Um, if you watch up here, um, there is this is probably my third Brazil jersey, but my second proper Brazil jersey. I'll explain in the, in the video up there if you want to know more about it. Um, what more? Yeah, the background is a little bit more sparse now because I am washing the shirts. It is hot. I wash once a week. So basically every shirt that I've been just touching needs to be washed. There's no, uh, no way around it. So yeah, a little bit less jerseys and you know, there is at least the South America section is anyway sparse, but uh, we'll see. I have to actually redo this a little bit. I think the European jerseys, now that the Nations League is over and they are also in a break, I think they can go and I can maybe uh, move over well, whoever played I uh, played at the Women's World Cup and space it a little bit out. But there's not that much space in my closet. I have more jerseys than fit in my closet, that's the sad truth. Anyway, Brazil, Bolivia, the opening game of the Copa America. Um, watching all the highlights, I mean this was 2 o'clock in the morning, a uh, time where I actually need to sleep, <laughs> so uh, and I decided I'm not gonna watch this uh, uh, delayed. I might do this for more important games. The game was played in the Morumbi in Sao Paulo. Please, Brazilian fans, let me know how it's uh, how it's uh, properly pronounced. I always mess uh, the Portuguese pronunciations up. Uh, what I have to say, I think the Morumbi was the stadium that was actually slated to host the World Cup and then because of delays um, it became the Corinthians Arena, if I, if my memory serves me right. But the Morumbi is, I think, the Sao Paulo Stadium uh, from, uh, from what I always have the feeling of. Also, uh, the game looked very South American, meaning that the uh, floodlights are so I'm not making it all that bright. Uh, this is not true for the Corinthians Arena, but this one, uh, it's just a huge stadium and uh, you don't just have enough floodlights. So it's kind of, it's a little bit uh, dark and then add to it that Bolivia is playing in almost all green except for the Red Sox. Almost look a little bit like Morocco against uh, Italy uh, because Brazil played in their white uh, jerseys where they celebrate you know a uh, hundred years that they won their first Copa America in Brazil where they're wearing still white you can read all about it in the comments below I have a link uh, reviewing that jersey it is probably the jersey sensation of the year Brazil playing in white again why Maracanazo there was no Maracanazo Morumba, Morumbazo would you say like that uh, today a, it was only the opening game, so nothing really decisive. B, Bolivia is not any opposition. Brazil thoroughly dominated the game, but had some um, troubles getting chances. I think the only really chance of note in the first half was by Thiago Silva, who headed it in. But right after halftime, um, a penalty foul that was reviewed. I mean, this. Uh, when I when saw the highlights, it was typically you cannot get it going, but you have so much pressure, a ball will hit the hand of someone, and this happened. And the World Cup uh, final referee um, had to review it on VAR, but in the end, it was given as a penalty under new rules. It's all right. I will say it again and again and again. To me, it doesn't really feel like a penalty, but. That's where we are now, and you know, if it's given on a consistent matter, I think I have no problem with it. I also gotta gotta say, uh, I'm just waiting for uh, players to actually, if they're ahead of a defender, to see this and on purpose try to hit the hand. That's what I'm waiting for. Who steps up? Philip Coutinho from Barcelona and covers the penalty. Uh, just thereafter. He gets his second, a uh, very nicely taken goal. It's 2-0 Brazil, and where does he find his form? I mean, for Barcelona he did not show up. I think for Brazil he's more important. It may also help that you don't have Neymar in the team so others can shine. I know this is a little bit contradictory, but I actually think that Brazil is a better team without Neymar. All the hype and the craziness and that he always wants to have a ball, I think it's hindering Brazil. My personal opinion. Um, 
others might disagree. Um, and then Brazil kind of rolled back a little bit and let it uh, go. And in the end, Everton uh, scores also a really nice goal from a distance, make it 3 0 in the 88th. And Brazil is off to a good start. A game that never really was in doubt, I would say. We'll have more uh, coming. We have Venezuela and Peru playing, and I think um, we have also Argentina, Colombia tonight. So that's definitely going to be very interesting uh, matches. Yes, Argentina, Colombia will be tonight. So looking forward to that one uh, happening. But we'll see how those will go. Anyway, let me know what you thought about the game, if you could watch it. Um, how you like the white Brazil jerseys, uh, the jersey matchup. I thought, you know, I, I really wanted to see Brazil for once play in white. They played in the FIFA Centenary game in white, I know that. But other than that, you don't see it because they don't like this look anymore. And I mean, the yellow shirt with the blue pants is so iconic that you cannot go with white. But it is, it's maybe nice as a one-off to have them play in white now. So let me know what you thought about that. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.